All right, smoking berries here with you. Uh, doing another Sunday prep meal prep day. Um, decided to do the veggies. Show you guys how we do some veggies. Um, what we have is uh, some yellow squash and zucchini, Vidalias, some green peppers, and some garlic, and beets, sweet potatoes, and we have our paleo rub of choice. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix the uh, beets and sweet taters. We're going to cube them up and then uh, a little olive oil, a little seasoning, and then we'll uh, roast them off. Um, these, we're going to dice these up and put them in uh, snack bags. That way that in the morning, because I do like to cook eggs in the morning, I can have it to just put a handful into the pan and it makes more Sunday, Sunday and school mornings easier. And then the uh, squash and zucchini, we'll, we'll cube them up as well and, uh, and cook them off, probably in some olive oil and some peach paleo or we're not really sure what we're going to do yet with that. So let's, uh, get started, let's get started. So you go ahead and start slicing up whatever. Um, sorry, put that in there. And then uh, I'd already peeled the sweet taters, so we're just going to cut the ends off. And it's always good to have a garbage bowl. Uh, this is just a mixing bowl with a plastic bag. Uh, kind of keep that handy to throw all your little bits in. Um, little quick uh, say hi to the uh, camera lady. She's not feeling well. Um, so she didn't want to be, be in the video. Which... Bummer, but it's okay. I understand. So, so we're just going to toss the sweet taters in here, and when I get to the beets, we'll throw those in. Uh, A tip for cutting up onions is that if you don't like to cry cutting onions, you can either wear goggles or chew some mint gum kind of counteracts with your senses at least that's the rumor i've tried it before it works i just say cut the darn onion <laughs> vidalias don't make you cry as much and they also taste very well very well very good english <laughs> This is kind of boring right here. Right. You good there, P? Yeah. I'm starting, to, to starting to get to you, isn't it? Yeah. A little big. I'm trying to keep them about the same size as I'm cutting. Uh, and the beets, uh, I got one already peeled, but I think we're just gonna leave them, leave them unpeeled. Yeah, you can do them either way. It really doesn't matter. Just, Just make sure you wash them really good. Get that get dirt, dirt off, off there. But then again, a little dirt never hurt anybody, so. Kind of helps with the immune system, I think. At least that's the way I was raised out in the cornfield. Yep. <laughs> um, yep, garbage bowl. You can eat both the onions. Both onions, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll just. Again, you just do the one for right now. You know what? I'm gonna throw a handful in here just for a little flavor. Put it in there. Right. Yep. And then I 
I'm going to go ahead and cut up the bell peppers. Yep. So, okay, well, let's, uh, and a let's tip ahead. for cutting up the bell peppers is to cut around the core. That's not what you did. You're okay. So, you can kind of cut the core out. The carrots and onion and the beets make a very nice, like, variety of color. That is true. The um, beets and sweet taters do add a little fall vibrance <laughs> to it. Um, because it is fall, and yeah. fall means football season, so. Woo! Yeah. Oh, speaking of football, my teacher dad is a alumni of North Carolina, and she likes Clemson. So. Well, I'm not a Clemson hater, but I am a Buckeye. So. I'm going to come back in the Orange Bowl one day, Dad, and get him. Oops. Keep missing the, t the thing. Move it closer. Um, I'm just kind of cutting the white table there. I'm just kind of cutting the bell peppers into strips right now, so they're easy to kind of make even, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's. This is a lot of us chopping. It's kind of crazy. Um, so let us finish uh, chopping these up, and then we'll bring you back when we're ready to get into the uh, into the squash and zucchini. All right, so we're back. We uh, we got these diced up, the sweet taters and the beets. We um, have the on both onions. We have to go. Um, we have them both chopped up, and we have the bell peppers. Some of them are. The long pieces and then some of them are cut in half. It's and the uh, discoloration in the, the onions here is because I chopped them on my board and I had beet juice. So that's just beet juice uh, it won't on the really onions. Change the so taste, we're going to put some uh, olive oil or avocado oil. I'm not sure which yet. Whatever we avocado grab. Oil. Avocado oil. Uh, avocado. We'll drizzle that on top and then we'll, we'll hit it with a little seasoning and then we'll roast them off. Mm -hmm. We also have some onions um, in the sweet potatoes and beets just for dinner. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our zucchini and our squash and we're going to cut them up. Cut them up and um, yep, she's got the garbage bowl so. so we'll just cut these up and then we'll be on our merry way. Yep. <laughs> you guys know how to do this so. We'll be we'll be back when we're done. All right, so we finished cutting up the yellow squash and the cucumbers. Or not cucumbers, zucchini. Zucchinis. We added some onions just for flavor. About a handful of vidalias, just yeah, just cause. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just kind of like drizzle with olive oil. Yep. Olive oil on. We're going to do the same with the uh, beets and sweet taters. Not a whole lot, but. Just kind of like with a light hand. You don't <laughs> have to cover every piece. Cause it'll right. Work out. And then we're going to take the. Um, I'm adding the pale, my pale euro. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a good sprinkle. Sprinkle. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you got it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot, man. It seems like a lot, but mm -hmm. that adds a lot. Here. Whew. Once we get it stirred in, it'll be okay. It looks like a lot, but it's, it's not much. Alright. Now, we'll get the, we'll roast these off. Um, 
probably in the oven about these will run roast in the oven uh, about 400 um, this we're going to divvy up into little snack bags uh, so they're kind of and then probably throw them in the freezer um, that way they're just kind of little quick things to you know throw in with breakfast yep. or lunch or something and then uh, this these veggies we'll probably throw in with this and you know we'll just cook them a little and while for the snack bags so um, the, for the snack bag meal prep, you can pretty much do anything you want to. People also put like scrambled eggs in bags with what they're going to add in the morning. That just sounds disgusting. And then just pour that. Just, it's so, pretty explanatory. We will, uh, we'll be back when all this is done and we're getting ready to build our plates. Go. Alright guys, so here we are, we're back. We have our beets and um, sweet taters. Sweet taters. Right. Yep, with olive oil and the uh, AP or the uh, paleo. Pete's paleo. We have the zucchini and yellow squash, olive oil, Pete's pit. paleo. Then what we have here is some uh, turkey sausage links, and then uh, this was some pineapple brats that pineapple like bacon cup. brats that uh, the wife picked up because they were on sale. Chicken breasts. And then we have chicken boobs with. Uh, some jalapeno ranch, uh, southern links there. Uh, wife wanted that, so uh, let's let's give everything a taste test real quick, oh, yeah. and then uh, yeah. then we'll build. We'll start building some plates here. Okay. So sweet tater, mmm, so soft. I just mashed it with my tongue. Mmm, I want sweet tater. Uh, the beets are pretty. Um, Breach got a little, little crunch. But that's how. Mm. They're, they're just like right. Oh, that's a gut. The skin. Yep. Skin gives uh, it a little, a little. I've been eating crunch. these uh, squash and zucchinis. Wow, so I know they're good. I sprinkled a little more rub on top of them. Really? Mmm. After they got done. Yeah. And these roasted in the oven. It was four. We put both these in together. Uh, it was 400 degrees. This one about an hour, this one almost an uh, hour and a half. Mm. Um, Everything's really tender and good. Um, so now, you know, the sausages are going to be good. We've already mm. eaten a bunch of those. Mm. The chicken's nice, moist. Ranch, it's got a little kick. And just a little kick because of the uh, because of the jalapeno, but uh, yeah. And then of course the pineapple sausage. Mmm, so tasty. I ain't done anything to it, but they're pretty good. Um, nice it's got a little ring. sweet sweet flavor, yeah, smoke ring. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's about it for today, So if we keep. We keep eating. We're gonna eat that other side of meal prep. Um. So you kind of like you can kind of mix things. So you can do chicken with beets and um, yeah, uh, sweet tater. Save some chicken for myself. Yeah, we're gonna put three pieces of chicken in here. Put three pieces in here because I already sliced up the breasts. Uh, Prior. We'll put, yeah, prior. I just slice I have them up. Some sweet taters and some beets. beets? And then mm -hmm. Are the beets mm -hmm. good? Oh, yeah. The beets are real good. Oh, because they look and a little discolored. A little bit of. Yeah. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Do the same for this. Uh, it's just a little bit, but it does fill you up with a, big, with a good glass of water. Mix that in. I like your shirts, guys. Uh, yep. The wife ordered these shirts and got them made up for us. Yep. So, okay, so folks, there's our meal prep. Um, so we're going to, we'll finish making these up. Uh, and uh, yep. get them in the fridge for our lunches. Uh, and you can see they're, they're hot because it's already fogging up. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Whatever. anyway. I don't know. But uh I think it's cool. That's it. 
Uh, so that's smoking bears. Kid approved. Fired up. Get, Get out there with your kids. Have fun, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.